what I have here is another sample that was given to me by Whiskey Jason last March in Glasgow, Scotland. It's uh, Austrian whiskey. <laughs> it is the medium smoked Broga. And uh, I have tried two other uh, Broga whiskeys from, uh, that were given to me by Whiskey Jason. The uh, first one, I think it was called the uh, Double Barrel or something like that, and I really didn't like it. And the other one I had was the Burnout, or if you want to say it, Ella Schwarzenegger, Burnout. Uh, the Burnout was, you know, it was so powerful, even though it was only bottled at 42%, but it was so, had such strong flavors that I couldn't tell if I liked it or not. Um, Jim Murray gave it uh, high points for, for whatever that's worth. But uh, I would need to have more than a 50 milliliter sample to do it justice. And I probably will never see Broga again after this little 50 milliliter sample. So this is the medium smoked Broga. Let's give it a shot. Or let's give it a Glen Karen. How's that? All right. It's too bad they don't distribute this Austrian whiskey here. Of course, it would probably have a limited appeal the North American market has never heard of this stuff I would never have heard of it if not for if not for uh, whiskey Jason giving it to me ah I'm not getting a lot of smoke. Maybe that's why they called it medium. Oh, wait. There's something. Something smoky here. It's like... Uh, it reminds me of railway ties covered in oil. like motor oil, like railway ties, some, some oily creosote, but it doesn't smell like creosote. It's like, uh, like motor oil that's been in the crankcase too long. But it doesn't go so far as to to, to go like a like a Lafroig and and go, get um, citrusy it doesn't get citrus that's the, that's the strange thing well no second thought now that I mentioned citrus maybe I'm getting a little bit it's still that railway tie railway tie smell. It's not creosote, it's a mixture of oils and creosote and I'm I'm liking this. There are some fruits trying to poke through that nose of heavy, oily, tarry uh, railway tie. There are fruit notes. I'm getting some pears. Got a 
dig a little bit for those. Gotta dig. Gotta dig. Oh. Getting some berries. Strawberries, raspberries, that kind of thing. This is a complex little number. It's Broga, medium smoked. Oh, I wish I could get full bottles of this stuff. And I'd have to revisit that that other one again, that, that uh, burnout. But this has that, oh, once again, that railway tie with creosote and oil and berries and Piers. <laughs> Thank you, Horst. And and Benedict, both of you. It's a bit of a marinated cherry coming through along with the pears and berries. All fighting their way through that thick, heavy, burnt, burnt but not ashy, not ashen. It's Preserve wood. Under an oily film. And that's just a nose. There's definitely a family resemblance to the uh, to the burnout, but it uh, It's lighter. It's not as overpowering. I might be getting a little bit of that RC Cola note, but I'm not getting any of the ashes. But then I haven't tasted it yet. You know what? There's a little note of Red Bull in there, too. <laughs> Red Bull, another Austrian product. Hmm. <sighs> that is a glorious nose. I like that nose a lot. With the berries and marinated cherries. And orchard fruits peeking in from behind that. All topped by that rich, oily railway tie smokiness. Preserved wood and tar. Wow. What am I going to taste here? Oh. Interesting. On the palate, I'm getting fruits, I'm getting berries, um, getting orchard fruits, but mostly berries, strawberries, raspberries, cherries, that kind of thing. And 
wood, the wood, the preserved wood. There's some brown sugar and the finish. Once again, it's very dry, dry finish. Um, the fruits are fading fast. The fruits and berries are fading fast. It's just leaving my mouth dry. Hints of charcoal. And a woody coating. The, the coating, my, my mouth is coated all over by this woody, thick, slightly berry flavored. Mm. If I had this side by side with the burnout, well, with the burnout, you wouldn't be able to taste anything else. <laughs> I tried that. When I had the burnout, I had, you know, three or four whiskeys after it, and I didn't taste a damn thing, even though those whiskeys were at higher ABV. One of the whiskeys that I tried the next day uh, that I had that night was a, um, a peated uh, blend of Kalila and uh, Bonahaven. Definitely peated. If it was to be your first drama of the night, you would get peat. Bottled at 46% alcohol by volume. It tasted like a, a mild Japanese whiskey after the burnout. I'm not kidding you. And even the next day, it still tasted like a mild Japanese whiskey. And the burnout, that's even though the alcohol by volume percentage is 42%, that would be the last one to happen in, in the evening. The last, absolute last one. Oh, I'm getting on the nose. Tar. Raisins and brown sugar. Uh, wood. Uh, pencil shavings. Door planings. What a tour de force whiskey. Railway ties that that I can't describe it as anything else but that blunt broga smoke no brown sugar berries cherries what's conspicuous in its absence is um, any citrus notes, the kind of citrus notes that I get from an Art Bag or a Lafroig or ah, there's a cereal note now. It is a single malt, I believe. Um, Rauch malts whiskey, so it's smoked malt whiskey. Yeah, 42% alcohol by volume. I have no idea what this costs, but I'm going to put a picture right about here of the various uh, bottles that this stuff can come in. Why there is a test tube shape bottle and a squat bottle like this one, both containing 50 mils worth of juice, is beyond me. I don't know. Oh. I don't know what the Austrians are 
onto when they do that. I guess it made sense at the time. Beautiful nose. So I gotta taste that again. You know, it's as if the wood that they used was a virgin American oak. It's got so much, so much um, wood, and it doesn't say how old it is either. It's just got a lot of wood, a lot of smoke, and then the berries and cherries and little bit of orchard fruits, a uh, little bit of pears. It just coats the mouth, just coats. For 42% alcohol whiskey, this pops. It drinks like, it drinks like it's 48%. So much flavor here. Oh, now I'm getting some chocolate. <laughs> uh, what's that stuff called? Uh, Tootsie Roll? Oh. This is good. This is super good. I'm getting a maltiness on the nose. Yeah. It, and it keeps changing a little bit. Every time I... Every time I have a sip, it tastes, it, it, it's different. And the tongue and the inside of the mouth are just coated with this smoky chocolate coffee residue. Hmm. Wow. Prost. Food quick. 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 Food quick.